All right, we've got everything done. We're ready to, uh, to go to the next step here, and uh, that is to start masking off these cabinets. So, uh, a lot of different things out there for masking off cabinets, doesn't really matter. I've even seen people use a newspaper, well, so whatever you have, doesn't matter. But uh, just a couple, one of the things that I've learned um, that I just want to share real quick is plastic. So, obviously, it's really economical and super easy to use. The only thing about plastic is, um, when you come in here and you mask off these, these shelves and everything like that, or whatever your cabinet spaces are, it's great the first time you paint. The problem is, is that the, pla the, the paint, after that first coat is put on there, it can flake off of this plastic when you're coming in. So I'm gonna be priming everything first. If, if the primer starts to flake off when I come in here and I'm painting my final coats of my paint on here, it can, when the airless sprayer hits this and the, the plastic starts to rattle, pieces of the paint can fall off and then if it lands in your fresh painted work, it's ruined, you've got to wait for it to dry, you got to come back, sand it all down, it's really a pain in the neck. So, if I'm ever in an area where I am, uh, where I know the air from my airless sprayer, the paint is, can ripple the plastic, I do not use plastic in that area. So what I end up using plastic for is if I have a big wide open floor and I'm painting around the outside in a room, I'll mask off, like when I do the baseboard in here, I'll mask it off with paper right on the top and the bottom of my baseboard and then everywhere else in the room I'll mask it off with the plastic just to protect the tile flooring. So just, just remember, it's easy to use plastic and it's cheap to use plastic, but at the same time, if you are spraying up against it, it can cause a problem. So what we're gonna do now is, you know, there really isn't a method that, that isn't good. Just as long as you have the area that you don't wanna get sprayed with paint covered, it doesn't really matter. So um, I like to use this little hand masker. This one's from 3M, but there's several other manufacturers of them. But basically it just takes your masking tape and your paper, your masking paper, puts it on uh, this little dispenser so that when you want a piece, you can just pull it off like this, select your length, tear it, and then, you know, wherever you end up masking off, boom, stick it up and you're done. So obviously I'm not masking off right here, but I'm just showing you. So we're going to mask off the inside of all these to protect all the shelves. As you see, I do not unload the shelves of the cabinets and just leave everything in there. On my floor, I want a little bit wider area to protect. I am going to have a spray gun. You just never know what happens. So I'll just use this three foot wide rosin paper here um, that uh, you just get from Home Depot Lowe's. Same with all these products. They all have them. And uh, we're gonna mask everything off. And then I'm gonna do a couple little uh, other little prep pieces that we'll show you in just a moment. All right, when this cabinet was originally installed, the installers actually split this cabinet when they screwed it together. So it's actually split at the bottom, it's split at the top. So this crack right here, um, when I was bondoing all those little holes in the, uh, in the drawer and door fronts for the handles I didn't want, I actually just took a little bit of bondo and I stuck it on here and it just dried up. So what I'm gonna do now, um, is I'm just gonna grab my little hand sander here and uh, and just sand this off so it's nice and smooth. That way when we prime it and everything like that, it'll it'll show us if we have anything that we need to fix and uh, we'll come back. You'll see there's it's split here and stuff like that, so it, it's gonna need a little bit of repair work here. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand it here. I'm using this uh, brushless cordless DeWalt sander, variable speed, really cool, has some dust collection on it. And uh, so we'll just go ahead and hit this. I've got some 220 grit sandpaper. <laughs> can't see the crack or the split in it anymore and uh, we'll wipe that off when we go to prep and it'll be, it'll be ready for primer. 